In this video, we will explain the difference between the mean lifetime and the half-life of particle. Basically, all particles decay in some way, except for elementary particles and the proton, and they undergo this decay after some specific time. We can express this time as the mean lifetime or the half-life of particle. But what's the difference? Suppose a particle exists at t equals zero. Let us also assume that the particle decays with some constant probability per time, a. So for instance, 0.4 per second, or 12 per hour. This probability per time, a, is called the decay rate. Now let us consider the following Gedanken experiment. If the particle exists at t equals zero, and still exists at some later time t, then this scenario happens with some probability p of t. So far we don't know what this p of t is, but we will soon find out. In the next time interval dt, there are two possibilities. Either the particle decays, so it does not exist anymore at time t plus dt, or it survives and does exist at t plus dt. The probability that it decays is given by the decay rate multiplied by the corresponding time interval, and the probability that it survives is given by 1 minus that probability. So if we now look at the whole diagram, then the path that the particle survives from t equals 0 to t plus dt is given by the probability p of t plus dt. But we also know that in such a diagram we multiply the corresponding probabilities along one path that we want to follow. So p of t plus dt is given by p of t times 1 minus a dt. If we rearrange this equation and consider dt to be very small, we can write this as a differential equation which is solved by an exponential function. So by only looking at simple probabilities, we already got the exponential decaying behavior of particle decay. Also the integration constant p0 is equal to 1. Now that we have this exponential function, we can define a new variable tau as 1 over the decay rate. And we call it the mean lifetime of a particle, such that the exponential function reads e to the minus t over tau. But why is this quantity called mean lifetime? To see this, let us calculate the average time that this particle exists. This means we integrate over the quantity that we want to investigate, multiplied by the corresponding probability that it will decay at some point. This corresponds to the other path in our diagram, p of t times a dt. The result of this integral is precisely tau, so this is really the mean lifetime of the particle. One more thing, if we start with n particles, then after the time tau, only 37% of them remain, so 63% of them decay. We can now ask, how long does it take until half of them, so 50% decay? Surely this time must be shorter than the mean lifetime, since at the mean lifetime already 63% decay. The quantity that we are looking for is called half-life and is usually denoted with t with an index one half. A short calculation shows that the half-life is given by the logarithm 2 times tau. And since the logarithm of 2 is smaller than 1, the half-time really is shorter than the mean lifetime, as we expected. To summarize, this is how the half-life, the mean lifetime and the decay rate are connected. And that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching.